I think that this movie was about a man slowly going crazy and insane from being stuck on an island for however long he is stuck on the island for as he begins to befriend and talk to animals. Makes a lot more sense now. Hello once again watchers of Good Movies, my name is Nick Powell this is once again coming from my apartment. Now today we are going to be talking about the film The Wildlife. Now this weekend has not been great for movies for me. general premise of this film is that it's a very, very loose adaptation of the tale of Robinson Crusoe. He is this uh, ship navigator who ends up stranded on this island and he has to try to survive on the island. The whole time there are evil cats who are trying to kill him and his dog and the nice friendly creatures who he befriends on the island. David Howard is the voice of the main character, the parrot named Tuesday, and he is fine in the role. I recognize him from other places, but the IMDb credits didn't really show him doing that much other work, so I don't really know where I've heard his voice before, but it sounds very, very familiar, or at least very similar to someone else. And then Yuri Lowenthal, he plays the voice of Robinson Crusoe, and then I didn't really know who anyone else was in this movie, because IMDb has like every single actor who does this thing. This thing was not American made, which is kind of interesting that's being released here, surprisingly. Um, so, yeah, there's other voice actors who have done this movie, and so that's our, that's why there's so many in this IMDb section. Animation, good for this movie. I enjoyed seeing it. I didn't see any flaws in it whatsoever. The animals looked good, and our Robinson Crusoe himself looked fine. Uh, the music is also quite fun in this movie because it adds a lot to certain scenes of the movie, which otherwise would have left kind of bland and emotionless. But, I mean, this isn't a Disney or Pixar, but it's a film that's aimed for kids. And it doesn't really have any deeper messages or anything like that. It actually ends on kind of a sadder message. Because the, the parrot in the beginning is like, Oh, I want to go out and explore the, the other world or the rest of the world. Because he's been stranded on this island for the, rest, for the entirety of his life. And then it kind of it ends with him giving up on that dream. And it's like, oh, I'm fine on the island now. So it's like, oh, give up on your dreams and you'll be fine. It's like... That's not the right message. It's also not really all that exciting, at least for me personally. Uh, a large majority of the film takes place with uh, Robinson Crusoe eventually befriending the animals on the island, as I said, as he goes insane, and then it builds a treehouse with their help. And then they get attacked by cats and the cat's children every so often. And that's where kind of a weird time progression happens because it takes about two months from my understanding for a cat to go from pregnant to having the, its litter of kittens and it doesn't really seem like two months passes during that whole time where she gets pregnant to having the kids to the kids being like grown enough to be able to fight and fend for themselves. It just seemed like a very strange like dual time lapse which didn't really work out that well. But it's a kid's movie, so it doesn't really have to make sense, I guess. Guys, The Wildlife, if you have kids, they'll probably enjoy it. Uh, there is a couple in my theater. I don't know if they really enjoy it that much. I wasn't paying that much attention. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fine for kids. I think they'll enjoy it. Adults, probably steer clear of it because it's not going to have anything for, for us people, adult people, who look for deeper meanings in these movies. So, guys, those are my thoughts on the wildlife. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, fair, comment, and subscribe. Once again, if you so choose, I appreciate it immensely. And as always, my people, my name is Nick Powell, and once again, keep on watching.